I wanted to record a quick tutorial to show you how to use the wing overlays. So these are actual wings that my studio manager and I made last year. So I'm, this is the set that I'm going to use today. It's the white front layer. And then here's an image that I shot of a model this summer. So let's add some wings to her outfit. So to kind of speed this up, I already cut her out. So as you can see, I can just sort of turn on this layer. And here's a layer mask over here of her. And then uh, I'm going to shut that off so that you can see. I dragged the wings over using shift. I resized them, you know, and kind of tilted them. Usually a good rule of thumb is to follow the shoulder line of your model so that they line up and then to make them proportional. I think this looks pretty good. The other thing I did is I put a little layer mask on because as you can see, her elbow was kind of cut off uh, by the shears. So it would make sense that the wings would be as well. So I went ahead and added that layer mask. Next, I added a levels layer. And this is just to match, you know, her to the background to the wings so that everything is going to kind of blend, you know, different. You want to have a good gray scale. Your blacks should be the same level of black. Your white should be the same level of white. Um, then I added some curves layers and I did a gradient. So you just hold your G key. You can see my light is coming from the right side of the shear here. So it makes sense that it would kind of fall across the wings in a gradient. And it also makes sense that there'd be a darker spot right here because this is where her body's going to be. So let's turn that on. You can kind of see that. And then I decided to turn the wings yellow just by adding a yellow layer, turning the blend mode to color so it matches her lingerie. And then let's turn on our layer of her. And there you have it. There's a shadow for where she should be. The light is falling right across them. They're about the right size. I would maybe desaturate these a little bit just so it blends a little better. Um, but if you're a quick trick that I use too to get a good composite is to create a new fill layer. This is how you do it. Come to solid color. And then I always say I want, sorry, we don't want to do that right there. We want to do that up here. So, okay. Solid color, zero on the hue zero on the set and 50 for the black. Okay. And then this is what I use as a helper layer. So turn the blend mode to hue and you can see, okay, it ma about matches her. Our midtones look like they match. Our whites look like they match the highlights and our blacks look like they match too. You don't want to have them too disparate. Then you can also go into the luminosity. And it looks like it's just about the right color. Maybe these are hair saturated, but it matches on this side of the image. All of our colors blend well. So this is just kind of a quick and easy way to help your eye see the image and help it blend better when you're creating a composite. But there you have it. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful.